Hey, what is going on guys? It's Puggle one and today we have for you a pretty sweet gameplay, but I also have a topic that I'm going to be talking about that I'm kind of excited for, um, and I'm going to be giving you guys some information. So first off, you're watching a VKS Sniper Chem Strike on the map, Tremor playing some Drop Zone, and it actually is a fairly fast Sniper Chem Strike as well. It comes to about 4 minutes, um, which is pretty good for, you know, considering it's a Sniper as well as being in Drop Zone. He doesn't have any specialist perks or anything to help him out, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the player behind this gameplay is Carnage Bazanka, a very, very good player. Make sure to go check out his channel. It will be in the description below. You'll see a lot of great content over there, um, things that are much better than this as well. But this is a fairly good gameplay, and we thought that it fit perfect for... Well, not fit perfect, but was the right length for what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and uh, the information that we got today in E3. So we were shown about nine minutes of campaign gameplay and it looks really sweet it looks pretty cool um you know it obviously we knew that it was going to be futuristic it was going to be very different uh something we've never seen before so i was expecting that uh and it was very cool it looked very good it looks like the campaign is going to be like a movie almost i'm very excited for it uh, we saw cool looking tanks we saw some kind of drone swarm thing the graphics are phenomenal of course it was on xbox one but still very very good for next gen consoles and uh we got to see the exoskeletons what the characters look like the face the way the face moves when they talk and stuff um just the, the you know everything we got to see some blood in there kind of just showed off everything and it was very cool it was very exciting um and also my main point of this commentary is the Predator. They came out with a video on Call of Duty, youtube.com slash Call of Duty. Uh, they posted a video, Activision, they posted a video that had some information or kind of told us what we're going to get, or it was like a little trailer of what we're going to get in our uh, pre-order bonuses, as our pre-order bonuses. And what they said we're going to be getting is an exoskeleton that's customizable or, or, or unique to itself, as well as a new gun that is called an energy gun. It fits in a new category, kind of like marksman rifles in Call of Duty Ghost, that is called the energy guns. And uh, basically what energy guns are, we don't have too much information, but we're going to be getting uh, basically an energy gun, and we're going to be getting some kind of new exoskeleton. So what we can tell from this is that exoskeletons will be in some way in multiplayer, whether they are a kill streak that you have to, you know, get a certain amount of kills, then you get a certain amount of time in your exoskeleton suit, or if they work as maybe something like a field order where you get it for a certain amount of time or until you die, or maybe there's only certain maps where you get exoskeletons. I think Carnage Rising was saying that he heard something about that where there'll only be specific maps where you get to use exoskeleton suits on. And that's a pretty good idea too because honestly, personally from, you know, even though I haven't played the game or anything, I don't really want exoskeletons on every map. I kind of feel like it's going to be a little bit overpowered and ruins the feeling of Call of Duty. But we'll see. I'm not going to judge the game before I've even played it or seen any real multiplayer uh, game footage of it yet. So, you know, we'll see. But the energy weapons are a little sketchy as well. I'm kind of nervous for those. We got to see one weapon in the actual campaign. Now, once again, you can't say everything in the campaign is going to be in multiplayer because in Black Ops 2, we saw invisibility cloaks. We saw a sniper that could see people through walls and you could shoot them through walls. Obviously, none of that made it into multiplayer. So a lot of the things that we're seeing in campaign are not going to be in multiplayer. But still, uh, the fact that they brought up um, energy weapons and how they're going to be in multiplayer... There was one laser gun that was showed in campaign that looks like it's like really, really crazy. You just aim it at someone, it shoots and kills them. Instant, it's like direct, literally a laser. It's not even bullets. Um, so I hope that none of that is in the actual multiplayer. Uh, and then the weapon that we actually got to see that we know is going to be a multiplayer is kind of sketchy too. It's like almost like a laser um, and it looks kind of overpowered. But we'll see. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you want to get this stuff, you do have to pre-order the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game. Uh, but that's been my time. Hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay. If we could hit 500 likes for this uh, gameplay and commentary, that would be awesome. Make sure to go check out Carnage Bazanka and subscribe to the Carnage Clan channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys later.